Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to take apart one of these clock movements uh, to install the uh, Crazy Clock logic board. Um, these movements uh, all look different on the inside, but they all uh, work more or less the same way. If we take the cover off, uh, inside there's a gear train and then the stepper motor over here. And then under the stepper motor there is a uh, logic board, or a printed circuit board, with a crystal and a potted chip uh, embedded on it that is the source of the timing for these things. So they're all going to be different a little bit, but somehow you want to try and get the gear train out of the way and then get the stepper motor out. It's a little bit fiddly. If you, It'd be a good idea to sort of keep track of where all the gears were when you started so you can make sure to put them back the right way when you're done. And here is the stepper motor coil itself and the two poles. And if we flip the board over, there's the potted chip and the crystal. And here is where the magnet wire gets soldered on to the board. And then these two bare areas down here, they are the battery contacts. You can see if we look in the bottom of the case, there's two little metal contacts that go off to uh, shaped pieces of metal that wind up touching the battery. Uh, that metal, unfortunately, is the wrong kind of metal to solder to. So the only way to really utilize those contacts to reuse them is to uh, solder onto those two contact points on the board. <clears throat> so the other problem with, with these things is this fine magnet wire is, is so fine that it's very brittle. And of course, it's coated, and you have to remove the coating to solder to it. So again, the path of least resistance is to just cut the traces on the board that go into the flip chip. We're going to cut the traces that go to the battery contacts, cut the traces that go to the two solder points for the motor. And we're going to leave the rest of the board intact. Uh, it'll all be disconnected because we're going to cut the traces, uh, but physically it will allow the board to be put back in the case when we're done adding the wires onto it. Uh, so I'm going to go perform the surgery. I'm not going to do that on camera. Uh, but I'll show you the result when I'm done. And so we've seen, you can see how I've cut the traces. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, and I've uh, soldered yellow wires onto the tabs for the uh, coil and a white wire for negative and blue wire for positive. And I've used 30 gauge and 32 gauge Teflon. I've even put some uh, hot glue to try and hold them together. Uh, I've also removed the crystal, so that, that provides a nice little escape route for the wires. Now you've got to put it back where you found it, routing the wires as best you can so that they're out of the way of everything on the inside. Um, again, this is a little bit fiddly. These things weren't really designed to be taken apart. Um, but if you are careful and if you put everything back right the way you found it, you should have no trouble getting it all to fit, just like that. Now, um, this board is just the prototype. Uh, the boards that I have going into production are going to be a little bit smaller. They actually have a chance to possibly fit inside the case, but these prototypes don't. Fortunately, the makers left a little spot in the case so you can bend the wires and poke them out. Um, so bend the wires as best you can and they go kind of single file in that slot bent at about 90 degrees. And if you do that they should hopefully stay in place while you put the lid on. There we are. So now you've got your clock movement um, assembled on the uh, case where you're going to mount it. In this case, I've got a piece of wood. Uh, and you've got, you know, of course, this one's upside down somehow. We'll turn it so that the hanger is up at 12 o'clock. <clears throat> and now, so you've got the uh, white and blue wires of the battery. The two yellow wires go to the uh, clock terminal, and then you can use double-sided foam tape to stick the board up here somewhere uh, out of the way. 
uh, or maybe on the side, uh, wherever you want. And uh, I should probably show that. Put the sticky foam tape up there or on the side, anywhere you can mount it. Uh, but now you've effectively um, put the escape hatch in the movement uh, so that you can get uh, a replacement uh, controller wired in.